into engine number nine, going down the railroad line. If the train should jump the track, will we get our money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. Engine, engine number nine, going down the railroad line. If the train should jump the track, will we get our money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes. Engine, engine number nine, going down the railroad line. If the train should jump the track, will we get our money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah, we're gonna have some. We're gonna have some train leaders. I see that Doriana wants a drum. Okay, we're gonna. <laughs>
associate the word. It's more cognitive for them. And then what word are we going to introduce or use for the word fast? Allegro. Allegro. And sometimes they'll use presto. But there, there's some options there. So slow and fast. But the real heart of this lesson ties to literacy. Because as our basis, we're using what? A poem. And it's a repetitive poem. And it's kind of got a, almost a chorus to it. But how does that tie into what might be going into the classroom? Not in the music classroom, but in the grade level classroom. How does that tie in? In first or second grade, what are they doing? Reading. They're reading and they're learning to read. So putting this up here gives them a visual. And uh, some children, as we know, learn visually, so they're going to listen to it and see it. And it really is going to reinforce their reading. And it also lets the other teachers see that you're on the same page as they are, right? Because that's important. Um, and literacy is very important. It's hugely pushed these days in schools. But now we're going to go to an older level literacy, which is, I wonder what the train would do in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to go to a, um, an older level literacy, which is this poster over here. So maybe come around here where you can see this. Very 
very, very important because what do you hear the first time you come up to a little pond like this? Crickets. You're going to hear crickets. You're going to hear this kind of noise in the background. So you're making that frog and cricket noise. And when I point to the small dots, you're going to make what kind of noise? Just make small noises. And when we get to the large dots, you're going to make large. So let's just do this. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to see. This is what I, what I would say to the fourth graders. I'm going to see if you can follow the musical symbols here, the musical clues. Here we go. Ready? Thank <laughs> you. 